Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Allison and today I wanted to share with you another Cricut SOS tutorial with you. Right now I am working on an insert to go in my album. You can see I have a torn notebook paper page up on my canvas, but I want to look for images to put on that canvas. So let's go ahead and do that. To start, you're going to head to the left side of your screen where you have tools in the left hand toolbar. You can see upload shapes, text and images. You want to click on the images icon. That will bring you to your image library. The last image that you searched is always going to be the one that shows up. That is, unless you have already been searching for images, the last one will show up. If you are just starting fresh, this field will be blank. So I am looking for an image of a plant to add to my uh, insert. So that's what I'm going to be looking for. I know that I have used plants before on a layout, so I'm looking for something specific actually. As you're searching, a little trick that I like to utilize when I find an image that I like is hold my cursor over said image to find out what type of image it is. Is it a draw then cut? Is it cut only? Is it vinyl? And then I will decide from there whether or not that image will work on the project that I am working on. So I like the snake plant. I'm going to select it because all it says is snake plant. It doesn't say that it's cut only um, or vinyl or draw. So I think it will work so I will select it. So all you do to do that is click on that image. When you see that it's highlighted green, it is selected and will be transferred to your canvas. You will also see it Oops, show up here in the bottom right and that tells you that it will be transferred when you're ready to go back to your canvas. So what happens if you want more than one image? What if you are not 100% sold on this one that you just selected? You can keep scrolling. You don't need to go to your canvas and deposit the image there. You can keep scrolling through the image library until you are happy and have chosen all the ones that you want to choose. So I'm going to choose this one and this one as well. And I'm going to keep looking to see if there's anything else that catches my eye. I like these ones too. So here's an example of the print then cut. This one down here, the where my cursor is, Print, it's a print then cut. This one above it as well is also print then cut. So if you just let your cursor hang out over the image, it will tell you what it is before you select it. They also look kind of different than the rest of the images too. So that's why I've become a little more selective when I am searching for images. Searching relatively simple. If you find an image that you really, really like, such as this one right here, the ferns in planter, and you want to see what other images are available from this particular cartridge, you can actually select the eye down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And it will tell you the image number. And it also gives you the option to view the images in that set. So we're going to select on that. We're going to select that and head over to that um, image set. And I'm already seeing a few that I really like and I might. So you may have noticed down here in the bottom right, all of your images that you have previously selected still show up. So they are still saved and in queue to be added to your uh, canvas when you are ready. But I really liked this image. I'm hoping that I can cut the belief in yourself portion out of it. So I'm going to select it. 
I also really like this. It's super cute. So I'll select that. I like this one. So I'll select that. What else do we have here? And that's it. Those are my favorites from this image set. So now that I have done that, we can go here back to the left hand side of the page where it says back to image, click on that and we'll be brought back to our original. So I think I'm going to cap the image searching here. I'm happy with these images. I actually found the ones that I really, really wanted to use. So now I'm going to go to the very bottom right hand of my screen and select the green button that says insert images. This will bring us back to our canvas. So after selecting insert images, it may take a few seconds for all of your images to show up onto your canvas. They will show up as a grouped image and you can't move them independently of each other at first. All you need to do to fix that, I have already done that, um, but I'll talk you through how that works. Come over to the right hand side of your screen where all of the images are listed. Select the header for whichever image you want. Once you've done that, it ungroups all the images and you can move them freely and then do what you want with them. I'd also like to make just a really quick note here as well. You do not need to create like I do. This is just a starting point for you. Ignore the fact that I have an insert here. I was already crafting and had chosen this image to create a layout on. I just wanted to show you how to search for images and cut them with your Cricut. If you want to use all of these images, you absolutely can. You can size them to the size that you want, or if not, decide which one you like the best, delete all the others, and then cut that one image. In fact, I actually recommend that's the way to start, is just look for images that you might want to use on a layout, cut them um, to use either as embellishments or a title if you want to use like a phrase or letters to create your own die cut titles. Don't, to start, um, choose a whole bunch of images and then try and design a layout from those images. I think that's more of an advanced skill and eventually we will get there. But for right now, I'm just showing the basics. That, what if you want to cut more than one image? Um, you want a plant and say you want a word. So that's going to be the image that I search next. So you can come over here to images and try and search the numbers or letters that way that you want. I actually want to search for 2019. I'm not convinced that it will show up. If it doesn't, I'll show you how to get around that. But let's see what does show up if I put in 2019. I'm actually impressed. <laughs> so as you can see, there are multiple numbers, multiple images that show up with the word 2019 in them. It actually tells you how many results come up using whatever phrase or word that you search for. If there are no images, it will say zero. Um, if there is images, it will always tell you how many images there is um, using that phrase that you typed in. So I'm going to select this one because I like that one the best and I'm going to then hit insert images. Now I also want to search for 2020. So I'm going to come back to images and notice how 2019 was still there because that was my previous search. I'm going to highlight it and now put in 2020. If you can't highlight it, choose the X. And then search and all images will show up. So we'll go 2020 and then enter. And I'm just looking for a simple 2020 image like this one. That will work perfectly. And then you'll notice there's 241 results for 2020. Let's say you are ready to cut the images that you have selected to create a layout. You want 
the torn page notebook paper, you want the 2019, 2020, and you've selected, say, this plant, and you've deleted all the rest. When you are ready to make them, you need to come to your top right hand green box where it says make it. You'll select that. And then it brings you here to your, um, of course, I'm not ready yet to cut these images or create them. So I'm going to select cancel. But if you were going to cut these images, you would select the green continue and then you would be able to go and cut your images. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. I hope this tutorial helped clear up some confusion for you if you are new to Cricut and how to cut images. And I hope it cleared up some confusion on how to search your image library. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask. Leave your comments and questions down in the comments section below and I will definitely get back to you. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure you give it a thumbs up and a like. Leave a comment anyways just to let me know that you were here. And also, if you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss any new videos that I post. Happy Monday, take care my friends, and I will see you again in the next video. Bye guys.